For this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on the decisions made by the supplier, the producer, and on the supply side of the demand and supply curve. And uh, we're going to be focusing entirely on decisions they'll make in the short run. We'll get into in just a bit what, the, what short run is versus long run, but before we do that, we need to talk about costs, both fixed costs and variable costs. So let's think about, let's, as our example, well, let's you consider a manufacturing facility. It's just a simple little thing, maybe working out of a warehouse or so on. You're making some kind of a widget. So it says here on the slide, you rent some space, you have some equipment, and so on. And in the short run, you're making some decisions throughout the year to uh, either increase production levels or decrease production levels based in large part upon costs and also upon the price that you might get outside. So we're going to be looking at both fixed and variable costs in this sort of simplified situation. Let's look at them one at a time. Fixed costs. These are the costs that stay the same even if production levels change. So here's some examples. For instance, the rent on the building. Uh, if you make one widget a year or a thousand widgets a year, you're going to pay the same rent on the building. So rent is a fixed cost, does not change with, um, with the level of your output. The same is probably true for your, let's say, your plant manager, your big supervisor, a salary for that. Um, we're going to see in a minute that sometimes some of your other labor costs might be more variable if, in particular, if you have the opportunity to have workers come in and spend more time or not, depending on your production levels. So in any case, these are, this is just a sample list of some costs that are fixed, i.e. they don't change when your production levels go up and down. Perhaps you can think of some others. Now, variable costs are the other kind of costs. And what we mean here are costs that go up and down or change with the levels of production. So if you start making more goods, you're going to need more supplies, more raw materials. So your, uh, those costs will go up, and that's why we call them variable costs. The same might be true for some of your workers, uh, at least in a very flexible working situation. Maybe your hourly workers, uh, the wages, what you spend on hourly workers can go up and down depending on whether you have a big heavy duty production run or whether you're, the plant is running fairly idle. Shipping costs could go up. You know, the more you make, the more you're going to be shipping. And usually income taxes change because they are uh, dependent on how many goods you're making and selling. I put the utilities thing in here as a variable cost too, with a proviso that some utility costs are probably fixed, you know, to light the whole uh, warehouse uh, manufacturing facility. But if you have some equipment or something that is that uses a lot of energy to run, electric stamping machines or whatever, then and you're doing lots of production, then you might see some of those costs, those utility costs actually go up and down depending on what your production is. Now what we say is that um, in the short run you have some fixed costs, i.e. You're, you're locked in to some of your uh, cost arrangements. You have a lease that runs for a year or a rent uh, or a mortgage payment that you, know, you would have to keep up for at least for a year, maybe a contract uh, for your plant manager. So you have a variety of things. The fixed costs are indeed fixed. You can't change them. You're kind of locked into them. And typically the rule of thumb is, is less than a year. Um, it's not a s absolutely a strict rule, but it's a good rule of thumb to use in learning and thinking about these kinds of costs. So in the short run, there are some fixed costs that you can't get out of. They're going to be the same for the rest of the year. The variable cost, however, you can change depending on how much production you want to have at your facility. Later, we're going to be talking about, and I think in a previous, in a following week, we're going to be talking about long run costs and long run behavior. And there, the all bets are off, and uh, but we'll wait for that to discuss that a little bit further.